What's up, everyone? Hello, hello. Roger Spindler here with Hit the Bed. I came here specifically because they asked me to talk about a few things. Things that mean a lot to me, may not mean a lot to you. But today we're going to be talking about cashing a phone knot. And we're going to be talking about what? Cashing a phone knot. Cashing a phone knot. I'll get to it. We're also going to be talking about stand for a train. Step in and find a chain. Step in and find a chain. You understand what I'm saying? All right. What we're going to talk about today is catching a foreign knife. Now, I like an overview a lot about there. I'm well, thinking you're all kinds of geniuses. You're trading the market, you've made some money, and you think that, oh, nothing can harm you. So you see a stock and it's getting pretty, pretty ripped apart. It's getting like it's, you know, like it's anus is being spread right over so you can put like your head inside it. It's like a raping. It's like, you know, you're getting like crazy, like what is going on with this company? But then your genius light goes on and you're thinking, maybe I should get into some of this stock right here just because it's like down 20%. I've seen many a man, and myself being one of them, has been taken outside and beaten senseless with a stick behind the shed and then urinated on by some guy walking by. Let's bring it to a chart right now and give you a little bit of definition. Chicka Fleha. This is a company, I don't even know what they do. Somewhere they make like a beverage something. But here you have a stock. It's getting like absolutely decimated. And you come in and thinking, oh, look at this. It's down like five or six points. There's no way that this thing could continue to go down. Next thing you know, the stock is getting even hammered even more. Next thing you know, the stock's going down the next day. And lo and behold, next thing you know, you're a big fat investor in a company that you were just trying to make a little bit of hay on, trying to catch a foreign knife. Catch a foreign knife on me now, catching a foreign knife. You've seen the stock, $22, so what is 16 You don't know jack squat about this company. You're just turning out to be a wanker trying to step in front of this thing. Oh, no, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Next thing you know, you're getting 10 Qs, you're getting 10 Ks, you've got an annual report about a company you don't give two shites about because next thing you know, you're an investor in this thing, hoping and praying this thing comes back. No more cash in a phone night, all right? Moving on. Then we have step in front of a train. Step in front of a train could even cost you more pain because here you are, and you got, oh wait, a second, hey man, oh what's that? Oh, I should check out the stock, it's gone from $12 up to 24 and what you think I should do? Oh, just because if it's up 100%, you think I should be short on the stock? Oh, you know what that's called, right? That's called standing in front of a train. Standing in front of a train, you know what I'm saying? Standing in front of a train, I'm going to have to go now, you wanker. So let's take a look at this chart, oh, it's VHC. Take a look at this chart. So right here, you see the stock is breaking out. Chicka flea ha. You see this stock's breaking out. And okay, it's a twelve dollar stock, and it's sitting here looking at it's sitting here, and it's next thing you know, it's doubling in price. Doubling in price. You're thinking, wait a second. I'm thinking this gotta give a little bit of a pullback, right? You're stepping in front of a train. You don't know what is going on here. Maybe this stock is the next one that's going to go from $12 up to $30. You don't know what you're looking at. Next thing you know, you step in front of a train, stock's gapping up, and this $12 stock that you thought was easily going to pull back to 20 next thing you know, it's going up four points, causing you a whole load of grief. So the moral of today's program is... Don't try to catch a foreign knife. There's going to be plenty of opportunities out there to try to find something more reasonable that you can make money on. And for God's sakes, don't step in front of a train. Because the train is going to mow you down. They're going to blast you into so many pieces that they're not even going to behold to find the body to identify you in the next coming sequence. Whatever the hell that meant. My name is Roger Spindler. No more stepping in front of trains or catching a foreign knife.